Salisbury University, a Division III state school in the Maryland, USA, and they are the home of the Salisbury Phoenixes, the second best Quidditch team in the state of Maryland as of the year 2020. You may be asking, what is Quidditch? Well, you most likely know it from the fictional books of Harry Potter in which the sport he plays. But a little known fact is that the sport of Quidditch was actually turned into a real life sport and it is played as a club here at Salisbury University. And I'd like to tell you all about this club and what makes it so great. Normally, in normal week of Quidditch here at the school, we have two practices a week, one on Friday afternoon and one on Sunday afternoon at 12. Each practice, we take time to set up the field, which is three hoops, a tall one, a medium one, and a small one. That takes about 15 minutes, and it's done by whichever member of the exec board who is there first normally the president or the vice president. Second off, we move into drills. We have to get our players warmed up for a nice good quality practice. We do things from high knees to lunges, things along those lines to get ready for the practice ahead. It's good for team body and gets everyone ready to go so we prevent as many injuries as possible because unfortunately we are an injury prone team. During our important drills, our captains, of which there are two on our team, a chaser captain and a beater captain, will tell us what we're doing that practice and what to expect going forward. You may be asking, what is a chaser and what is a beater? In the game of Quidditch, there are four positions. There are chasers who wear white headbands and they use the volleyball called the quaffle to score points on the other team's hoops. There are beaters who wear black headbands and use dodgeballs to knock other players out of the game for a very brief time. There are keepers, which are just chasers with special powers and wear a green headband and act as the team's goalie. And finally, there are Seekers, players who are yellow headbands who catch the snitch. Practice isn't just to learn the positions and the fundamentals of the sport. While that is very important, something the Quidditch club prides itself on is its team relations. We have a great community and great culture with people that we really like and that go well together. As you can see, we have a lot of fun at practice, both playing the game and just being silly all the time. Because without that, we wouldn't get stuff, fun stuff like the crown on a dodgeball, which pretty funny in my opinion. Another great thing about Quidditch that we love so much is that we take people with any athletic ability they have. You could be a four-year athlete in high school or someone who's never played a sport before, but it gives those people a chance to get out and play a sport that's fun and unique and the more the merrier. For example, on our team, we have lots of ex-lacrosse players, a few ex-baseball players, some ex- track and cross-country athletes who no longer could play sports in college but wanted to stay active. Quidditch is also a very unique sport with an experience you can't really find anywhere else, which is something that we like a lot. It makes it so much fun because it's both very hard and very easy to learn for anyone who will want to try it out. In addition to practice in a normal week, the exec board usually gets together for a weekly meeting to talk about what school events we're planning, what practice will look like, and in a normal semester, what kind of tournaments we will be having. Our exec board consists of a president, a vice president, both captains, and a treasurer. And normal dodgeball rules. If you hit them, they are out. If you catch it from them, they are out. If you step outside to get a ball, that is okay. But you cannot step outside to dodge. If you step outside to dodge, you are out. Yes, Alex. Sometimes, at the end of a practice, we like to play fun games like dodgeball and other yard games just to take the edge off. As you can see, we are playing a game of dodgeball right now. Normally, we play a one-on-one -on -one round robin tournament fashion but other times, when we're feeling more bold, we divide the team up in half and just go crazy. Whichever team has the most players left is the winner. Even though we are a club sports team and compete against other schools for championships, we believe it's important to have fun and just take the time to blow off some steam with some things that are not very serious because we work hard all, all week in school and all, all day of practice. When it comes to the team's community and culture, we hold that in the highest regard. It's important that we all get along and we have a good time. Most people on the team are friends with each other outside the team. Many of them even live together, like myself. Our club is famous for movie nights, game nights, and when the club still existed, the Manhunt Club, which unfortunately ended due to some people graduating.
We often use the first practice, the activities fair, game nights, and movie nights to recruit new members who may be interested in the sport, or at the very least, find some new friends. Because really, what's better than having friends just like these guys right here who are growing out? No, Garrett, get out! Also, the kind of friends who will help you make a documentary about your sports team. What you are about to see is a speech from our current president about next semester hopefully being better. We had elections over the past two weeks. You guys all had the opportunity to read speeches presented by different members of the Quidditch team. Some positions did not have anyone run against them, others did. So to start, I want to say thank you to everyone who did write a speech and everyone who did do their best to present themselves in a good light for the rest of the team and took the opportunity to run against someone else and take the opportunity to attempt to gain leadership in front of the club. So, starting off, the winner of the treasury position running for his second term is Sam. One oh. treasury. Alright. For feeder captain, the winner was Diego coming back yeah. for his second term. I'm not one for speeches. For chaser captain, the winner going into his second term is Joey Mott. Woo. For VP, the winner is Brianna Esker. And lastly, the winner of President, who will be taking my spot, so I no longer have to do this. Drum roll, please. Is Brianna Esker! All right, to answer the one question, if Brianna won president and vice president, what is going to happen? Since we cannot do much this coming semester is what the school has told me, that the restrictions will most likely be the same as they were this semester going into next semester. The position of VP will be split between Brianna and Sam, who is our treasurer. That means the attendance policies and a lot of the help to the president, that means planning practices, getting approval from the school, doing a lot of the forms, will be split between both of them. They will be working very closely to cover up the missing responsibilities of VP. If anyone has a problem with that, please reach out to me and I can explain why we decided to do it this way. And in the fall coming up, if we go back to a normal semblance of semester, I will ask the current members of the team if someone would please step up for that semester to take over the role of VP. I will still be on the team at that point, and I will still be involved helping them with whatever they need. I will not abandon you guys. I will be here for the next year to help you guys out. Other than that, thank you guys for having an amazing semester. This was awesome to see you guys every Friday come out and practice. I'm hoping next semester we can get two practices a week, triple fingers crossed and hopefully that we can proceed to continue to get better and hopefully when the fall comes around we get a vaccine and we can have the opportunity to go and play against at least some of our friends like Stockton and Drexel and that's that's the hope for the team and if you guys have any questions anything you guys want to do please let me know and I'm sorry we do not have the ability to have a formal this semester because of the COVID restrictions and as cases rise the school has become a lot more hesitant to allow us to do certain things. So hopefully, as we get proceed further, the rumor is that March and April we could be getting better because that'll be springtime, and that's what the school told me that by March and April there should be opportunities for things to open up, like on-campus events, and hopefully a type of formal for the spring. So seniors, I am dearly, dearly sorry for that we are unable to have a formal, but hopefully this awesome practice and your Burger King crowns make up for it. And Thank you guys, and good Sadly, this semester, there have been no tournaments due to the pandemic and school travel restrictions. But normally, tournaments would fall on a Saturday, and we get up very early, around 5 to 5.30 a.m., to travel. Typically, we travel to places like Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and other places in Maryland to play other schools, like D1 schools like University of Maryland, Virginia Tech, University of Virginia, and then other D3 schools, like our rivals in this video, Drexel and George Mason. Tournaments are often the highlights of any semester, especially the regionals tournament, which last year was held in North Carolina, in which we played for a regional championship in the Middle Atlantic Conference. Hopefully this tournament footage gives you a kind of good idea what a game looks like, since these days we can't really have one, nor can I film one this semester. But I'd like to introduce you 
to a former exec member and one of our star players for the last few years, Randy Barnes, in this interview about his thoughts on the team and why he believes it is important and special. What is your name? Uh, Randy Barnes. How long have you played on the team? Um, four years now. Were you ever on the exec board, and if so, what was your position? I was on the exec board for a year. I was the chaser captain. What is your position? Uh, right now, I'm just a member. No, like like when you play on the field. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I play keeper. Okay. Um, what is your favorite part about the team? Um, definitely the the people. It's a, a very different group of people than any other sports league I've played on, and it works well together. Um, when did you realize this was for you? Um, the very first practice, uh, I liked Harry Potter, and I thought, I, and I like sports, so I thought I'd try out Quidditch, and instantly I had a ton of fun with the first practice, and I've stuck with it since. What is your favorite story from your time on the team? Ooh. Keep it PG. Yeah. Um. Favorite story. I don't know. Uh, Alright, my favorite story is from the regional tournament we had in Pittsburgh a couple years ago. And after the tournament was over, we walked around the, the streets of Pittsburgh in the dark and found any place for food that we can eat and we just had a lot of fun running around and enjoying the, uh, the city. So with, with high moments comes low moments. What is your worst moment? <laughs> um, let's see. My worst moment was um, a tournament in University of Maryland and it was the longest game we've ever played. It was like 47 minutes and we were neck and neck the whole time but we just couldn't pull it out at the end and that was probably the the worst loss just because we kept it so close for so long. And then finally, how will this club affect your life going forward, or will it at all? Um, I plan to hopefully continue Quidditch outside of college and community teams, and I hope to continue to build more friendships and make more more adventures with more people. All right, sounds good. Thank you. In this next interview, we're going to hear from someone who is about to become the newest president of the Salisbury Quidditch Club. What is your name? My name is Brianna Esker. How long have you played? I've been playing about two years because I started off as the team photographer. What is your position on the field? I'm a chaser. And you are on the music board. What is your position? I am the president-elect. What does that mean? It means that I'm training under the current president to be president next semester. Okay. When did you know that this was the sport and or club for you? I was the team photographer because my boyfriend at the time was part of the team and as I figured out my health issues I was actually finally able to participate in the sport and it was kind of the first time I was ever really able to be kind of athletic on a regular basis um, so it made me feel really good and like I really liked the uh, adrenaline rush and all of that so that's why I liked it so much. What is your favorite part of the team? I like the camaraderie of the team, like we're really just a big family and it's really nice to kind of have those people to support you through thick and thin and through wins and losses and so it's really nice to know that you have somebody who has your back all the time. What is your favorite story of your time on the team so far? Oh, well, my favorite story was probably when uh, we won a couple games at regionals. Just being able to run on the field, even though I wasn't playing at the time because I was injured, um, but running onto the field and being able to like jump around with everybody in kind of celebration of winning, that, that's my favorite moment. Everyone has their highs and lows. What is your low moment? Oh, I got wrecked um, at, a, at a Maryland game. Um, I got absolutely trucked by two big uh, guy players. Um, within the same day and that's when I uh, got the concussion and got injured um, that I just referenced and it, it hurt a lot and it put me out of the team for a while. And finally, how's your experiences on the team will affect your life going forward? Um, I think it's going to make me more athletic going forward. I really enjoy the, the endorphins and the adrenaline rushes um, so I think I'm going to become more active in the future um, even once I graduate.
Mostly so far, we have heard from players who are very experienced and have played in games just like this one that are very physical and very taxing. But what's it like to be a new person on the team who hasn't gotten the, quite their chance yet to play in a game just like this? Hi, I'm Mara. How long have you played? Well, I started this semester, so... Okay. Why did you first join the club? What was the thing that made you say, yes, I want to do that? I thought that it would be a really fun thing to do and like a cool way to make friends. So, I joined. So far in your first semester, what do you like most about the club so far? I like the social aspect of it, but like I also like doing the things and running around with the people. In the future, when hopefully we return to normal very soon, what are you most excited for? I think I'm most excited for the group practices because even though I will most likely be hit in the face with a dodgeball again, it will be fun. Okay. Um, what is your favorite moment so far this semester? Um, Probably the um, last day of practice, just because it was so much fun. We were playing all these games, it was great. And what has been your lowest moment so far? My first day when I got hit in the face by Diego with a dodgeball. It was pretty epic. Also very sad. Probably asking, why do this? Why do this now? Why film a documentary about a sport in a crazy time? Because I think it's special. I think that you see in the people I talk to, you see it in the way that we play the games and in the way we practice that this sport, this thing is special. It's special to me. It's why I did this. It's why, not just for the grade or the class, because I wanted something to show for what I did here, what I, what I did at the sport that I encourage you all to try it out if you get the chance or if you're interested, that it's fun, it's different, the people are special, the sport is special. That's why I did this, that's, it's important to me. That's why I went through all the trouble. It's important and it's special. I hope this documentary helps you realize that or showed you this, why I think that, why a lot of people think that. So yeah, thank you for watching. I would like to thank everyone, friends and teammates, who helped make this documentary possible today, who helped me able to share one of my loves to you. And with that, I will leave you all with one of the greatest moments our team has had in recent history. In fact, in all of our history. Also, just look at how awesome our uniforms are. Like, it's literally fire. Just come down. I think it might. And they're off. Let's go, 24. Quinn Mazzilli with the goal. Garvinicia has the snitch in his hands. Dreadful goal is good after the goal. Good. Yeah. 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 Y